we see some reasons for advertisers, uh, some ideas, what should they do online uh, or in offline. And the first point is to find out the audience uh, that uh, would like to buy your stuff. It's maybe we call it luxury audience, maybe we call it exclusive audience. Uh, no matter. So people who are ready to buy something, uh, people who are interested in brands and fashion and so on. And for social networking, it's often a myth that so only uh, younger audiences use it, only people from larger cities use it. So that's why I show some figures. So 70% of all people who go online, they go to social networks and to contact a particular. You may see the distribution of users uh, through uh, the whole Russia. So it's not only about Moscow or St. Pete, it's about all the cities, small and large. Uh, I believe so like more than 50% of all active users of, I mean not, not users, it's like a, all citizens are presented nowadays uh, on contacting. Uh, another part is uh, age, and I believe it's obvious that uh, most of the people uh, they are aged uh, 25 plus. So because there is no no uh, opportunity for such a numerous masses of people to be um, underage. Uh, another part is something that's very specific uh, to Russia and you should understand that uh, Russia is not a country of a single social network like uh, United States or Facebook or most of European uh, countries for Facebook. In Russia there is a huge competition between a local and uh, native and international social networks. So still uh, contact the largest audience of 40 million users in Russia. Uh, and it has uh, the most active, unique audience that is not presented on other social networks. But still, uh, you should understand that uh, it's quite different from maybe what you expect to be uh, based on global experience. Uh, and for getting out users that you are interested in, uh, mostly I got out some data from Comscore in terms of cross-visiting. So people who have visited the websites of uh, those uh, magazines, they also visit contact in the percentage shown below. So you may see that it's about 90% of people who visit like Vogue, they visit contact as well. So and another topic is that uh, all these communities combined together will give you 200,000 of users uh, on contact who are age 25 plus and who are subscribers of the magazines. So technically you don't need to buy uh, the magazine itself, you may buy the audience who is reading this uh, magazine. Uh, and uh, also it's always important for you especially to find out the proper audience for the proper product. So that means that any advertisement campaign it should be focused. So like when I um, get the magazine uh, in, I believe, even, even for the most uh, uh, gender specific uh, magazines, there will be a percentage of people of the wrong gender who will see the wrong advertisement. So on contact you may focus on any specific uh, part of audience and uh, get them out. So like people, now here's an example, uh, men and women age 25 plus uh, are from the largest cities of Russia and who use iPads. So it's a split of 150,000 users, not, not a lot but still they are totally uh, your users. Another quite unique option that's available on Contacti is to find out travelers, people who have used Contacti from abroad. And here is like men, age 25 plus, from Moscow <coughs> travelers, and we have about 270,000 users uh, who I believe are ready to buy uh, some good clothes from like Armani or something like this. So that means uh, at any given moment you make find out uh, your specific uh, audience that will be interested in your product. Uh, another point is being presented well on, um, uh, on the network uh, because uh, again in a lot of uh, cases uh, for fashion brands it's uh, crucial to uh, see what happens next to your advertisement. If you are a single advertiser on the website and uh, if you need to compete with 10 more banners, 
So for Kentucky, it's about small formats, but we believe size doesn't matter here because it's only two ads per page, and you don't need to compare it with uh, millions of uh, other advertisers. Uh, besides, we've got a very special option, which is called exclusive ads, where it's only one ad per page. That means you are guaranteed to have no competitor uh, for uh, your brand, and you will have a very advanced and exclusive presence on the website. So it's only one ad per page, and it's about 30% larger than generally. You may promote uh, your stuff here. And another point is also, I believe, quite quite important, uh, especially when, uh, like recently, I've uh, watched YouTube and the new collection of uh, Tommy. I believe you've seen also this um, uh, rolls uh, and they are shown uh, without uh, skipping. And that means then when I came to watch your content, I've shown an advertisement that I may maybe not interested in. And even if I am interested, I wouldn't be so loyal to the brand because I need to watch it. Uh, and it's not the matter uh, that contacts the like. So we, would, we don't like to overlap the content itself with advertisement. We prefer to uh, make it uh, user friendly and to believe for fashion, which is very, uh, which is very about perception. So it's not about just direct sales. It's also about brand perception. It's quite important, uh, and that's why for our very great video advertisement, we use our general ad displays, where people click on the teaser and then they open the full screen video. So that means you may show people uh, your. Uh, beautiful uh, video to show them image, to show them your uh, product itself, uh, to show like brand perception, but without interrupting them from from what they do. So uh, that's, that's very important, I believe, in today's era of digital advertising. Uh, and for some brands that are presented on the gay and some targeting, targeting opportunities as well, we've got some luxury cars that you may uh, focus on to buy uh, something maybe from special collection like Porsche design uh, targeted to people who uh, are interested in Porsche. Uh, we've got uh, for sure some fashion brands, so here are two examples of Dolce & Gabbana and Victoria Beckham's um, fashion. Uh, and for sure we've got fashion mass media, so magazines, uh, TVs, um, and any stuff uh, that's about fashion. And as well, we have a lot of user-generated communities that are uh, dedicated either to fashion in general, so like blogs, or they're dedicated to uh, something more specific, so to some brands that are not presented on contact as a uh, company, but their fans do this work for them. Uh, and again, all these uh, opportunities are for targeting and for getting out users to your product to bring them to your brand. Uh, that's it, and if you have some questions, I'm open to answer. So thanks, uh, thanks a lot. I think it's really interesting to see how you are improving the platform all the time for better targeting, for, as you say, more engaged advertising where you don't want to I would say interrupt people, but you still need to get the message across for 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 brand. I think we'll take all the questions uh, together at the end. Just to be curious, in the room, how many of you have a contact a contact a profile? So nearly everyone. And who is managing one for or have done campaign with with their brand on the, on the contact? So yeah, and um, and who is on Facebook? So, so okay, and uh, who has done campaign on on, uh, on Facebook? So it's interesting. It's kind of everybody is uh, is on different network as you as you were mentioning. So yeah, people people do use uh, a lot of network, especially advanced people. And I believe we've got some guests from abroad today. So that means yeah, Facebook will have a better presence. Uh, so, uh, but uh, still, you know, in terms of technology. And in terms of a larger number of people who could, you can reach through different uh, social networks, so I believe there is no so no not so strong competition for fashion brands.
And I believe you still have some killer apps that Facebook is not providing, like content videos and... No, it's not about content videos, so I disabled it from, from the presentation mostly, but the general activity that is done on Kentucky and I believe on Facebook and on the classic and on any, any social network is about communication. It's quite easy communication, so messaging, uploading uh, photos and communicating around this, this type of topics. So then it will go to communities, uh, speaking with uh, uh, groups of users inside the communities. And on the very next stage will uh, be a uh, like heavy content uh, consumption. So for applications, uh, videos, and music, it's still not the reason why people use social networks. Social network is not a content network, it's social. So that means that there's no such a competitive advantage if you have uh, more content. More, more heavy content. So thank you, Alex. Uh, so I guess uh, if you're on all those networks, one key question for you is ROI and measurement. At least if you have a boss, they are probably asking you all the time, okay, uh, how how do we measure stuff? So uh, what kind of figures are you are you providing when you do campaign or when you have a page on the contact? Yeah, for uh, running pages, we provide all the data that we believe is important for brands like number of people who came to your page, uh, number of people who have seen your post in their newsfeed and didn't came to it, uh, their gender, age, location, and all the data I believe collect from social makers who explain much better than me. Uh, but uh, the, the point that yeah, you mentioned the ROI, and I remember that I forgot to put in a very great case study that we received recently from Bonbury. Uh, I believe most of you who knows what the Bonbury is. No? Almost now? Okay, a few people. So, okay, there's a company called Bonbury, they're uh, German-based, and they sell, uh, uh, so they call it like smart fashion, so they sell clothes, um, not like highly um, fashionable, but uh, they are one of the largest retailers in Germany, and I believe in Europe as well. So, they started business in Russia in 2004, and uh, two or three years ago, they started to run contact uh, as advertisement as, and as a community. <coughs> so they got quite a great result. So who is uh, doing with uh, context advertisement? So Google or Yandex? Is, is here somebody? Okay, only few. Mm. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, context advertisement is the main traffic source for uh, e-commerce uh, in terms of fashion and, and any other uh, category. So, and contact as a social network, it cannot drive uh, so good, uh, good converted traffic. So, because in, in search, when you type in, so like Armani jeans, and you get not to buy Armani jeans, you're quite interested. For contact, if you are just wasting your time and messaging with a friend and you say that about Armani jeans, you won't be so, so, so deeply interested. And the point is that uh, through, uh, through our channel, they could get a result as close to, uh, very close to their non-branded context advertising. So it's not about people who have uh, watched to Bon Pri in, um, uh, in search engines, but it's about people who have uh, watched like for buying new shoes through search. And that means that uh, Contact is a like, direct promotion channel for e-commerce uh, shops. It may be as efficient as the Contact ad, what, which was quite uh, important and a bit new for us, so based, based on their experience. Uh, so I believe for all the web shops especially, it's, it's quite measurable, and it's about uh, getting back your investment. Yeah. Thank you, Alex.